Oh, cheers, man. It's uh, Sunday, and dude, I didn't do anything today. I just been like dozing on and off, and just reading and watching a movie. I'm gonna review first. So I finally read. Wolverine Weapon X. I've had this for a couple of years. The art is amazing. Barry Windsor Smith. He's just incredible. Unfortunately, he does not know how to tell a story. I don't know how. I mean, he could tell a story with his art, but he doesn't know how to do it with words. It's bizarre. I mean, I've thought about, like, look at that. <clears throat> and I've thought about this a lot. Like, there's such good artists, but they don't know how to, like, they can't write. They don't know how to weave a tale. But they do. They have with pictures. I didn't, I didn't know what this is about. I read it. It just, I thought it was, I thought this whole thing was about how Wolverine gets the adamantium. But no, he already has it. They're just trying to turn him into, it's just, it's not good. This, the, the art is amazing though. But yeah, this is terrible. I'm gonna review another superhero thing. I finally watched Guyver 2, Dark Hero. I've had, oh my God, I think I've had this. I recorded it off HBO. 10, 15 years ago, maybe more. And I had it on and I watched it, didn't really remember it. But I, I like Guyver, the first one, a lot. And I think people, it gets pretty good reviews and I think people like, like it better than part one. I'll tell you right, right now, I like part one better, but I still like part two. I thought it was really good. <clears throat> It's directed by Steve Wang. It's from 1994, directed by Steve Wang, who uh, says he directed the first one. I was like, didn't Screaming Mad George direct MacGyver? I looked it up, they both like, co-directed it. And Steve Wang, he also made Drive with Mark Dacascos. And I, I was like, that's good. And MacGyver 2 starts off, like it's like a comic book. <coughs> He's like fighting drug dealers and he takes them out in the beginning. And it was good. Um, the Guyver, he looks awesome. Now thinking, man, this is just in 1994, this is probably one of the best comic book movies. I mean, I know it's manga, but Guyver's basically like Iron Man or, or like Wolverine, almost, you know, near indestructible. He looks badass. He looks exactly like... I think he looks exactly like he looks in the anime and the manga. He looks so cool. Fights are good. In this one, like, he... He finds out that... Uh, he hears on the TV that someone thought they saw a wolf man in, in the forest of Utah. So, like, automatically he's like, oh, it's a zoonoid. But I think he's also kind of drawn there. They're, these archaeologists are doing excavation. And he knows there's something have, having to do with the Guyver unit in Zoonoid, so he goes there and fights them. And it's, I thought it's kind of weird because the way it looks, because in the first Guyver, I don't know, it just made sense the, where they're in the city fighting in like dark factories. Um, and this one, it's all in the forest, and it just looks, it's a little off. They don't, like the Guyver doesn't look right. Or the Zoan Zoonoids, they kind of look off in a forest setting <laughs> fighting in broad daylight but the costumes look so cool the first zonoid they show kind of like a they seem to be all reptilian based kind of well, insectoid and he just looks cool he's big he's always beating his chest I got tired of that he has a big massive head he looks cool they just look so good I think these costumes are great the fights are good just maybe not as many fights as I would have liked, but the ones that, that they do have are good. This one's 
little gore. Well, garbage not really gory. It is violent. I thought the first one. There's a part where the Zonoid hits this dude and just takes off half of it. You see from behind, just like takes half of his head off. And I was like, whoa. And the guy where he'll kill these Zonoids and he chops them up. It's yeah, it's more violent. People, yeah, you know, it went from like PG-13 to like R rating, which is fine because it's not super gore. It's not really that gory. That he does kill the Zonoids like he slices their throat and you see blood gush out. Uh, yeah, it's just a basic. He's they find a spaceship. There's another Guyver unit, and he's got. A, they have a bunch of Zonoids, and he has to fight them. You know, pretty basic stuff. On the IMDb, it says the runtime is like two hours and seven minutes, and so wow, that's long. It didn't feel like it. I don't know if I gotta maybe the copy I, I recorded off cable is cut. But it just didn't seem like it didn't drag. It, did, it does drag a little. There's some really um, pedestrian, like just parts where, like, oh, there's really nothing. This is not interesting unless they're fighting. It does have uh, the Zonoid that Michael Berryman plays in part one. It's him again with that big. Like rhino forehead that smooth like bone spur on his head it has like a fishy reptilian one total lovecraft so they have like three badass zoonoids in here and i mean like and there's one it's a it's a lady that turns into a zoonoid zoonoid that i was like it looks like psycho gorman almost the actor that plays uh sean Barker, I think that's his name. The Guyver. He was good. He's a little better than the first guy, but I thought that other guy was... He was fine. Whoever did the fighting is really good. <coughs> in, the, in, in a way, it's like, this is just as good as any Marvel movie, I, I thought. And I don't know why I didn't, like... I wasn't all over this and when it came out, because... In 94, I was, like, hungry for these types of movies. I do like it. I don't think I like it as much as I should. <laughs> Maybe I need to watch it again. I I'm going to buy the... VHS is still... <clears throat> things like 15 bucks on Amazon. DVD is a lot more expensive. I mean, I would like to have the DVD or Blu-ray, but right now the VHS is cheaper. I'm really thinking about ordering it. But I still have... My mind's pretty good. It's on EP mode, so the quality, and I had to listen to it with my headphones on, but Guyver, Dark Hero, yeah, I really liked it, I, I like, people didn't like, like, the goofiness of one, no, I like it, and also it just has a, a look, like, it's always nighttime, it's like, the Zonoids look kind of gooey, or gliss, they kind of glisten, they don't glisten in this one, uh, but cool that they made a sequel that's just as good as the first one or you know people like part two better people like part one maybe better so it's it's a solid uh series and yeah the guy really looks so cool his, his arm blades just his face and he does the like where he pulls his chest open and it fires a like a light blast an energy blast I mean, they got it. I don't. Know. I've seen some of the anime, and the movie stand. I think it stands toe to toe with with it. Um, so I'll give it a solid four. Not a, it's not a five, but it's really good. I think I should. I need to watch it again. I think I'll like it more the more I watch it. Which I should have. I don't know if it's. Sometimes I think it's good like to sit on the movie and then get burnt out, burnt out on it. But then I was like, well, maybe I would have liked it if I would have watched it like five, six, seven years ago. But I read Dark Hero too, man. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, the creatures look so cool. Uh, yeah. And there's a part where they're they're fighting in the water, and I was like, 
are they water resistant? Don't they like absorb water? They look fine. They didn't look like they get messed up. There's like an insect one that looked really cool. And then when the when the the guy when he like biomorphs, that's what they call it. It looks so cool. For ninety four, the effects I think are really really good. Almost, I think yeah, this guy Steve Wang he worked on. He's worked on bigger movies as doing effects. Oh, I can't remember what it was, but yeah, I mean, Guyver 2, I don't know where you can see it. But you can get the VHS on Amazon. So, or if you haven't seen, maybe I should review part one, let me know. But yeah, uh, really glad I watched Guyver 2, and I'll see you.